Hi there. Now for this question, we had to find the constants a and b when we use this coding here, q equals p minus a over b. And it turns out that the constant a is 1800 and the constant b is 10. Now in order to get these values, it doesn't matter which group that you use, but what we need to do is substitute a pair of values into the equation here. In fact, do it twice over with another pair so that we can get simultaneous equations. We should be able to solve them for the constants a and b. Now in the mark scheme, they go for these first two pairings, okay? But I'll do it with another pairing just so that you can see that it does work. So if we just use this one here when q is 3.0 and p is 1830, if I substitute those values into here, then what I've got is 3.0, okay, equals 1830 minus the constant a all divided by the constant b. And from this, if I was to multiply both sides by b and just add a to both sides, that would give me 3b plus the constant a equals 1830. So there's one equation then with the unknowns in. And if I do it for another pair of values, let's say we do it with these n ones here, then I've got 5.0, sorry, 5.0 equals the p-value, which is 1850, and then minus a, and that's all divided by b. And again, if I just rearrange this, multiply by b, and add a to both sides, we end up with 5b plus the constant a equals 1850 and I'll call that equation 2. And it's easy just to see that if we were to do equation 2, take away equation 1, then we would end up eliminating the values a. So if we do equation 2, take away equation 1, that gives us 5b take 3b, which is 2b, and that's 1850, take away 1830, gives us 20. And so therefore, b must equal 10. And now all I need to do to figure out what a is, is just substitute that value for b into one of our equations. I'm going to substitute it into equation 1. And if you do that, then you've got 3 times b, 3 times 10, which is 30, plus a equals 1830. And take away 30 from both sides, and you end up with a being 1800. Okay?